Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, I am back. I have got an awesome challenge for you. I was able to create my own lure. So this is the challenge I'm opening up to you. Go out there, find you something that you can work with, something that you can do, and make you a lure. Catch a fish, take a picture. If you got any questions, as always, ask me on uh Facebook, private messenger, give me something, uh, and I'll answer you with everything that I got. All right? So, guys, enjoy the video. I hope that you'll uh, stay tuned all the way through and let you see what I got. Today is the day. Make a customized bait. Um, I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out. Uh, may not work. I know of uh, a lot of these guys out there doing a lot of fishing. They say that the best way they have these customized baits to be able to have them compete that's out there is pro fishermen and they have customized baits. Just keep in mind when you make customized baits, you wanna come close to, to mimic the things that, that are bait in your area that you're fishing and what you're targeting. If you're targeting bass, then you wanna make sure that you create something that bass wanna eat or what crap you wanna eat or what brim wanna eat or, or whatever you want. Now the hardest part or the most expensive part here is actually buying your truffle hooks and, or your single hooks or your lead or whatever you want to be able to make this thing work. Um, me personally, I'm going to use old parts from old lures or ones I've taken apart or ones pieces I've saved here and there. So hopefully I'm going to do this for a fairly cheaper amount. Um, the only thing I think I may have to buy is a some poxy i may even actually have some laying around but to me that's the the key here is the actual uh poxy to hold the eyes in to the the lure now all right first things first i got me some wire that i used to do a lot of different crafting out of um this was wire that was given to me. I did not actually purchase, but um, I use it for all different kind of things. Um, if you don't want to make your own eyes, I'm going to use those to make my eyes. You can actually use hooks, old hooks. You can actually use old hooks. You can actually cut that off and glue those in. I personally don't believe it would be as strong or as a good a, a hook for me. Um, because I will be using the best option for me, the rings, the hook rings, to put mine onto the wire, and I'll show you how I make my eyes with that wire. Okay, these may not be the absolute best hooks around, but they are, that I'll sharpen them. I have a little file. I see one that's a little dull there, as you can see, that one's dull. But they already have the rings on them. This is just some of the ones that I, I've removed from other older baits that are that I found and different things like that. So with the leaves and the teardrops, I'm going to go ahead and use those for um, an add-on to uh, bass. So this one's going to be a bass lure, um, and I will uh, show you the rest of what I got in just a moment. Well, guys, it's become a little more difficult than I originally hoped. I um, I want it to float. I thought it would be fairly easy to find a piece of wood laying around because there's trees everywhere that was either too rotten or too green. And I wanted to make it out of something that was dry. The lake is really close to here, so I may go find something on the shore. The only problem with that is, is you can't take anything from the shore off of the West Point Lake without getting a permit. And as always, I want to do the things the right way. I have to be very careful of where I pick up or where I take when I'm at the lake. I may not be able to do that. That may not be an option for me. All right, guys, I really had to think outside the box on this one. As I was walking through to look for a little handsaw, I actually noticed this uh, old hammer I had. Now, I, I'm not sure why I still have it. It was just uh, happened to be something I had. As you see, it's the handle is really split and it's not been used in quite some time uh, because I have new hammers. My only real worry is this crack right here. That, that's the one that it makes me a little uneasy about what's going on here. Maybe it a hole, maybe it won't. All right, 
right guys so I wanted to show you this because I'm fixing to actually change the technique because I want to get it done a little quicker but um, up to this point I've hand carved this with a pocket with a set of pocket knives I am now actually going to move to a Dremel tool to just speed up things all right he cut his wire he's gonna take it and put it into the drill both ends and lock it down and you take a nail or a screwdriver or anything that you can hold on to. Put your drill on slow. You gotta be really careful with this one because if not, it will actually hurt your hands. And just run it up tight. You get a good coil. It ends up looking like this right here. And then I'll show you next what we'll do with that. All right, guys. This is what we got after the Dremel tool and a chisel. Um, I need to get some more sandpaper. I do not have low grade sandpaper, but this is gonna be part of it. This and this. I got a sweet salvation and it's beautiful. I got an old church choir singing in my soul. I got a sweet salvation and it's beautiful. I've got a heart overflowing. I've got it finished being painted. Don't know how it's gonna work in the water. Haven't put the hooks or hooks on it yet. But uh this is what it's going to look like. See the sparkle I got in there? Hopefully float and do what it's supposed to. Um, I'm a horrible painter, as you can see, but hopefully this will do exactly what I want it to do in the water and Well guys, I was really trying to get out there and test out my new lure. As you can see, it's still raining pretty good out today. If it slows down, then maybe I can get you some footage of it actually in the water. All right, YouTube, I am back, and I am actually going to give this new lure a try. It's only gonna be a brief moment, so I've gotta hurry. But we're headed down to the water now to see how this thing, if it floats or how it swims or however, cause I'm not really sure. Do not have the knowledge that these lure makers do on making these things move around. Just yesterday, the water was up past that little tree right there. Cause I used to catch fish right there. They're dropping the lake again, guys. Oh, and it sinks, it's so heavy. and it's got no action in the water at all. Well, oh, look at there. It, it, it almost looks something, maybe if I pop it like that. Oh yeah, look at that. It almost wants to float. I can pop it. Oh, okay, all right. So, it's not a complete fail. It's not exactly what the way I want it. I'd want it to be able to pop it. I put a little shine at the tail of it. Maybe that'll help, but I'm gonna cast it a few times, see how it casts, it's really heavy. I should have used balsa wood, but I didn't have any, and oh well. This is what it is, and this is how it works, guys. If I catch any fish on it, I'll let you know. I'm going to try to give you some footage of this. It actually, let's see, it's going to take me a moment to get set up here. It actually has a pretty good, pop it just right, it actually has a really good retrieve. Oh, I don't want to lose my phone here. If we go upside down, I apologize. It actually has a pretty nice retrieve um, just to give you an idea it goes in the water hard but if you pop it I know you can't probably see it from out here but if you pop it it kind of looks wounded like uh, like a real wounded um, sunfish and I'm gonna try to let you see it as I bring it up and then if you really pop it hard you can bring it up and make it swirl at the top which I might actually be able to get a fish on this. See, I don't know, we'll have to see. I'll keep trying it. I'm not giving up yet. While I was out there, cause the rain's picking back up, I actually got a bite on this lure that I created. So um, but I want you guys to get out there find anything i don't care what it is bottle caps you know pieces of wood anything you can find and make a lure make a lure make it look presentable 
and fish it and see if you can catch a fish. All right? Then that'll be so much fun for y'all guys. Don't hesitate. Try it out. Uh, if you got any questions, private message me on Facebook or comment below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button here on YouTube. Keep fishing.